about you guys about lethal weapons season three episode nine bad santas and there's a there's a couple bad santas now as we all know Murtaugh, you know dealing with his son rj being in costa rica that came to uh, another heightened end in this episode because Roger snapped, you know, he wanted to throw a celebration for his son, allegedly, but Trish put him in his place, checked him, and said, look, you don't want RJ to have a party. This isn't even RJ's party. This is your party. All you've ever tried to do is control him, and the more you try to control him, the more he does, he won't want to come home. And it's after a slew of voicemails from his, from Roger, RJ, we finally see at the very, towards the very end of the episode, RJ comes home. After Cole grabs, grabs Roger's phone during when they were getting, getting ready to close their case, you know, Cole grabs the phone and says, RJ, your father's sorry for being a jackass. <laughs> there, there you go. So, that was actually pretty cool. And then also, I think Bailey by I thought Bailey was getting a little jealous of the Goot and Scorsese's, you know, bonding. I thought she was a little jealous of that. But the Goot actually, if, if you want to say this indirectly, actually hooked Scorsese and Bailey the fuck up. Because she was like, look, oh, yeah, by the way, because, you, know, you know, the Goot's been hanging out with Scorsese. You know, he even had a party. She's read his book. She's like, do you know how interesting it is for a man to write his own his own movies, design his own socks? You know, that, that's all really interesting. How creative Scorsese really is. And I gotta give him his hats off to that, man, because that is pretty damn dope. To design your own shit and still have a great career, pretty damn dope. Not only just that, but then when the group told Bailey while they were up in uh, the morgue, he was like, oh yeah, by the way, he likes you, by the way. So, now mind you, a couple months before that, Scorsese goes out to go get some holiday cookies, but he realizes when he comes back that he forgot him at home. So Bailey walks up to him and she's just staring at him intentionally. And Scorsese is like, "Oh wait!" In t- typical Scorsese fashion, he says, "Oh wait, do I do I have anything about something in my teeth? Something in my hair? Like like what is it? Like 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 why are you keep looking at me?" And Bailey's like, "You know what? I don't even know. Happy holiday, Scorsese." So I really do hope that Bailey and Scorsese actually you know have a relationship. But then again, if they don't, I'll be cool with that too. I really enjoyed this episode because, you know, we saw Cole's friend, you know, pretty much go get arrested for a crime he didn't commit. One of his homeboys actually committed a crime. We saw in the very opening credits that a, a couple was not to be fucked with. A, a wife really gave her husband, a, her husband, who's a dentist, a shotgun for Christmas, which I thought was pretty damn dope. And popped one of the guys that was actually seen with Cole's friend. I think his name was Oscar, I think. Yeah, I think Oscar Omar, one of the two. And so... That was actually pretty cool to see that. And uh, I look forward to the next season. So this has been your boy, Jerry Speaks. If you guys have any requests as to what videos you guys want me to do next, please let me know in the comment section below. Um, I'll, I'll be always welcome to do them, and I always will be. I love them. Uh, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. God bless.